You tell that man that he's the jam in my jelly roll. <laughs> I'll see you, baby, okay? Bye-bye. Hey. hey, she is great. She is awesome. Yeah. What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another first time watch, this time for Lethal Weapon 3. Now, if you guys have been following my first time watches, you guys know that I have caught the first and the second one, and I was really, really entertained by both. Probably more so the second one, as I thought it was a lot more action packed, but I'll leave those links down in the description below if you guys wanna check out my reaction and thoughts on the predecessors to this one. We're three into it. There's only four in the series, guys. So could third time be a charm, or could this be the one for me to hate the series completely? There was a lot of mixed reviews, but that being said, a lot of you guys did vote for this amongst a couple of other action sequels that I did post. Now I'm definitely having a fun time with Riggs and Murtaugh, our main character, as well as the character played by Joe Pesci, guys. I believe he's also in these sequels amongst a couple of other characters we're getting along the way and recognizable villains, I've been told. So I'm getting ready for these next two films to complete my Lethal Weapon franchise. But before we do get into my first time watching Lethal Weapon 3, make sure you guys are hitting that big thumbs up if you guys do appreciate content like this. It always does help to spread these videos out to those that aren't subscribed and if you yourself aren't subscribed consider doing so today hitting that bell notification for future videos like this and if you guys are fans of movie and entertainment news consider following me down on my social medias i'll put all the links down in the description below all right guys let's get into my first time watching lethal weapon 3. hey hey, hey Reese, what? Bomb spots on the way. And there's no bomb in there. How, how can you be sure of that? Well, because it's a full moon. A yeah, moon, lunar, lunatics everywhere. Huh? Nah. Just, just, just look. Trust me. Okay, trust me. <laughs> you don't ever trust Riggs, man. You're my first mistake. Exactly. Yeah, you end up going hey, flying out the no. building. No. <laughs> just me, you, and this cat are dumb enough to be down here. Nearly a catastrophe, huh? <laughs> Nearly a catastrophe. Catastrophe. Love it. Aren't you gonna miss all this good stuff when you retire? <laughs> you really are crazy. <laughs> See, all done. Oh shit. Uh Grab the cat. Run. <laughs> Grab the cat! Run! I forgot Murtaugh's a cat lover, man. Or he owns a cat. I don't know if he's a lover, but he owns a cat. Cat owner. That's coming out of someone's check. These guys never get in trouble for stuff like this. <laughs> Uh, it's not gonna keep anything out. It's gonna keep my stomach in. It's a girl. What? Uh, God, it's a girl. Does Trish know about this? It's not a woman's girdle, it's a man's girdle. They make girdles for men? Yeah, they make girdles for men. They do, huh? You forgot the sign! Hey! Wait a minute. You forgot the sign. They always seem to be where the action is, right? Hey, who are you? Truck. <laughs> I always love me a good car chase and a fight scene. Wait, 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 what? Yeah, uh, yeah, 24 years, yeah, 24 years. Yeah, but it's a worker. <laughs> this girl's trying to hit on Murtaugh. Don't you worry about nothing, baby, because I got something for you. <laughs> I like her, she's funny. Oh man. How's this, huh? Blondie, he's a blondie now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, right, Kelly. Hi. Let me oh, see look who it is. Hi. This is cool, man. They got all the family cast back together. That's awesome. Like front yourself, man. That's kind of wild because in the early 90s, that's like when gangster hip hop was becoming really big, especially in the 90s, guys, early 90s. So I wonder if that's going to become a part, you know, some gangsters or whatever get involved with the family or the son or maybe even Riggs and Murtaugh. Who knows? I mean, it is kind of factual to L.A. lifestyle back in the 90s. So I kind of like that little twist because it's something a little different for the Lethal Weapon franchise. Hey, hey Nick. Hey, Dad. You good? Word. 
Hey, hey, word, Nick. Word. Word, Riggs. Word, Roger. <laughs> and he's still dead at the end of the day, right? <laughs> dude, Riggs is always around the shit. What's happening, dude? He's like, is that the daughter? <laughs> Too much of a coincidence. Film within a film. <laughs> Murtaugh ain't the man he used to be. Wearing a girdle, man. <laughs> It's got a girdle! Just, no, this is not a girdle. This is not a girdle. No, no, it's my back. My back went out on me. My back, he hurt his back. <laughs> That scene's great because that kind of is a callback to the last couple or more notably, I believe the first one where it's kind of like trash talking, just kind of back and forth between the boys at the station and whatnot. So that's cool. A little nice little nod to that camaraderie that they have amongst other cops. Good close look at Ooh. Yeah, this is when they had the cop killing bullets, man. Cop killers, I believe. Armor piercing bullets? Yeah. Jesus. Cop killers. Yep. Hi, Billy. Jack. Uh oh. Hi, Billy. Tying up loose ends, baby. Had them gangsters do it. Wasn't that kid Billy on the Big Lebowski? Freeze that! Stop it! Jack Travis. He was one of us. Anybody. One hell of a dirty cop. Mr. Jack Travis. Mr. Jack Travis. This is the LAPD. And I'll be there to collect you and escort you out in a minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Please end up on the ice, man. Please end up on the ice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got him? It's okay. It's okay. He's gonna make it. He's like a... <laughs> he feels like a hero. <laughs> Is Riggs just like a... Patch to craziness going down? LAPD, let me see your hands. Come on, let me see your hands. Damn. I think that was the son's friend. Damn. Semi-automatic converted, converted to automatic, automatic with 36 with rounds in the magazine on a sesame seed fund. Scheduled for destruction by the LAPD six weeks ago. But it never got there. Instead, it found its way into the hands of a 15-year-old boy who fired it on a police officer, your partner. That gun and 15,000 others like it were stolen from a police department storage facility before they could be destroyed. Mm. I mean, they should be paper clips right now. Or When you busted Billy Phelps, you stumbled onto something the department's been trying to keep a lid on. <laughs> this is wacky. All right, Turner and Hooch, relax. Drop it, miss. Boots were made for walking. <laughs> the dog has a new owner now. <laughs> That's awesome. Take down. I'm still convinced it's the hair man. <laughs> it's always the hair man. Look, this isn't gonna do you any good. Give me that. Son of a. Oh, yeah, he's probably been wanting to do that for a minute. <laughs> you think I'm afraid of you? I know you're not afraid of me. Cool shit you Rod, no! Please, Rod. Look, that kid was a killer, all right? He would have drilled you, me, anybody that came along, all right? It happened to me. Look, I, I, I kill that kid. I, you kill a fucking lot of people. Use. You ever Use. kill a baby? You Use. selfish Use. bastard. What about me? Huh? What happens to you happens to me. After all the shit we've been through, don't you get it? Mm. When you retire, you're not just retiring you, you're retiring us. You're retiring yeah, us. It got real. It got real right now. I don't care! You don't I don't care! care. You don't care! You don't care! I don't care! 
Damn. You're going against the grain. Daryl was my friend, Dad. I'm sorry, son. I hope you don't blame me. I don't blame you, Dad. I blame Daryl. That's cool, man. I like seeing moments like this because once again, this humanizes these characters. We get to see them in battle, in combat all the time. And I mean, we're slowly starting to see Murtaugh more the family guy, but he's kind of like all chuckles and goofy guy. But now we're seeing some deep emotion with him and his son. Obviously, he loves his older daughter. He's very overprotective, especially when it comes to Riggs in the picture. But action movie aside, I love little bonding moments like this, guys. Oh, Mr. Smith is... I just don't know. I was going to say, I mean... You find the man that put the gun in my son's hand. It's tough even showing up to... Like, yeah, I don't even know what to say about it. You want to pay your respects, and it hits close to home, obviously, but you had to have expected that hit. Where did this gun come from, motherfucker? Huh? You're wondering where genocide? You fools are killing yourself. You're killing us. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Throw your mother. <laughs> where did this gun come from? Maybe you know uh, Mr. Travis? You got a warrant? No. I don't have a warrant, but I can get one. Well, until you do, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you all right? Uh-oh. So you whip the head. All right? Remember, pivot on the right, kick with the left, and get that head around and spot that target. <laughs> he must have had his girdle on too tight. <laughs> Where's Sergeant Riddle? What? Oh, my God. I was hoping we would see this lady again. You tell that man that he's the jam in my jelly roll. <laughs> I'll see you, baby, okay? Bye-bye. Hey, she is great. She is awesome. Okay, but you keep your head down. Anything okay, rash happens, keep your head down. Oh, come on. You take anybody that young, that fresh, that green. I mean, yeah, he's a good shot, but you know he might end up dead. I know how these movies go. Ooh. Captain ain't going out without a fight. What did I freaking tell you? Damn, 22 years old. Step on it, there he is! Step on it! <laughs> I've heard about catching a train, but damn. Like in the movie Speed. <laughs> Three ways out. Is he gonna pop his arm into place again? <laughs> now, this is definitely the Three Amigos. <laughs> Well, maybe I should say the Three Musketeers because they're a little more action-y and they got more skills. Riggs is loaded with ammo! Son of a bitch, you wear shit. <laughs> Florida, no dumb! That was to be expected once you enter the world and you enter the world of rigs. Nice throw, bitch. I think there has to be a tally for son of a bitch. Like, I've heard it so much in this movie, guys. It's a very good curse word, by the way, but this one takes the cake. Like, I've counted over 50 at least. Oh, I'm pissing bullets, yeah. Cop killers. Nice. Go to hell, Riggs. 
you first. Oh, we're gonna send him to hell. One way trip. First class, baby. <laughs> get a chopper. She got two vests on, she's gonna be okay. I was gonna say, did she Come put two vests on? We need to get a chopper. What are you trying to prove out there, huh? You're supposed to grow old with someone. Not because of them, alright? I'm gonna be with you, Lorna. Hey, I'm with you now. Look, I'm right here. Riggs turned into right. a big softy, man. He already lost his wife in the first one. I like them. I gotta go, sir. I love you. Drop the L word. Yay! Hey. <laughs> Call back to the first movie. <laughs> I like when they do that. What? I can't retire. I thought I could. I wanted to. There is a lethal weapon for so. Word, man. Word, Dan. <laughs> Word. All right, guys. So once again, that was my first time watching Lethal Weapon 3 from 1992. Now, I always do have a lot of fun with these movies, though I will say off the bat, this is not my favorite in the franchise so far. I think the one that holds the crown for me is going to be Lethal Weapon 2. That one just has the overall action, all the LA grit. It just kind of amps everything up for me. Riggs and Murtaugh aren't too old in that film where they're not just kind of running through the steel even though we did get that crazy scene of Mel Gibson in this third film guys kind of running after that truck in the subway scene that was kind of cool but this film is pretty much about Murtaugh on the end of his road guys so he's really just kind of counting down the days until he can just chill and relax from Riggs's mayhem and I liked seeing how the final days kind of played out for both of them now going to the story of this film guys it was okay it was pretty good I like seeing crazy twists like ex-cops turning into criminals and selling arms on the streets and once again the crazy part was the cop killer bullets did exist in real life i do remember seeing those on the news in the early 90s so that was crazy to see in this movie one kind of missed opportunity was some of the gang violence that was going on in the early 90s in los angeles it was super big especially with gangster rap music really popular at that time. I'm surprised they didn't focus a little more on scenes like that. Yeah, we got a quick like little four or five minute shootout scene with some gang members, which led to the death, unfortunately, to Murtaugh's son's friend who was only 15 years old. That was a really tragic scene and it really twisted up Murtaugh to the point of drinking and fighting Riggs, which was an awesome scene in itself. So I will say the emotional beats of this film were probably probably the strongest pros for me that I took away after watching this. But there's something about this one that just doesn't seem as action-packed as the second one, let alone the first one. And because of that, it's probably lower in the franchise for me so far. And even though I did like his character in the second film, man, Leo Getz has to go, my friends. And I can only imagine what other additions we get in the fourth one. So let me talk about an addition that we did get in this film that I really did enjoy was the performance of Miss Renee Russo. I thought she was awesome. She was kicking ass. She was firing guns. She was really, really cool, integral to the plot and integral to Riggs' future, it seems like. And I really enjoyed their relationship kind of blossoming. She's almost the female version of Riggs to a certain extent. She is just as crazy as he is. So I hope we get to see her maybe in the fourth one and maybe they get to blossom a little more sidekick vibes or trio vibes. Like I was saying, the three musketeers in the building now. I'm not counting Leo gets in there because I don't want to see any more of him. But it's actually surprising that this movie is almost pushing two hours and we didn't get that many action scenes. So that's what kind of sucked me out. It was more about the character development of everybody that we saw in this movie and of course all of the criminal activity that follows behind the scenes. So for that guys I'm going to give Lethal Weapon 3 a 3 out of five. All right, guys, what did you think of Lethal Weapon 3? Let me know in the comments below. Where do you rank it in the franchise? And I can't wait to check out the fourth and final installment of Lethal Weapon, guys, here for you on the channel. Now, if you guys did appreciate my reaction and thoughts on Lethal Weapon 3, let me know by hitting that big thumbs up to like the video. It always does help to spread these videos out to those that aren't subscribed. And if you yourself aren't subscribed, consider doing so today and hitting that bell notification for future video content like this. And if you guys are fans 
fans of movie and entertainment news, consider following me on my social medias. I'll post all of that down below. I do post daily. All right, guys, till next video, I'm gone. Peace.